Okay, hey, Steve at Chief Skills, and I've just got a basic little building here, 30 by 50. And if we take a look at it, you'll see it's just a flat roof. It's nine foot tall, one floor. So basic box. Now you want this front wall to be right here, 12 foot tall. So the first thing I'm going to do is draw a back clip cross section right through here. And I'm going to get a polyline right here, click it on the floor and draw it. It doesn't matter the width, 144. And so I need to, from here to here, be what? Click on this, two foot 10 and seven eighths. Okay. So let's remember that. Actually, I'm going to delete this and this and just leave this here and dimension it. I don't know if I can do that point to point, probably. There we go. So we'll leave that and I will come over here and we will build a new floor. So we'll go here, build new floor, derive it from that plan. And then here, uh, let's just le click it and say, OK. Then let's look at our back clip cross section here. And we need to lower this from here to here. So minus six foot two and seven eighths. So double click this room, go to the structure tab and on this rough ceiling tab right here, minus 74 and seven eighths. Click OK. Now, if we look at our section, you will see your wall is exactly where we want it at 144. Now, open this room again and take the moldings off. Delete those and on the structure tab on the floor here, let us delete the flooring. And let us what else here? Click no roof and no flat ceiling. OK, and then click OK. Now on these walls here, I'm going to open those three and change them to attic walls. OK. And no room definition, say. Then I'm going to go down a floor, I'm going to hit my Q key to draw a roof and start drawing a roof and let go here. Double click. And I am going to make this pitch one. Now nah, it's probably too much. Half and click OK. And then I am going to go like this. And here and there's a little trick. You can just go like minus eight here. It'll go past and then just drag this up like this to the back there. And let's just take a look overview. And that's not quite what we wanted, is it? Why is that? Do I have the wrong? What happened to my wall there? Uh, maybe because I have no room definition. So let's go up and leave our room definition and see what happens. There we go. So there is your 12 foot wall in the front, your roof, nine foot in the back. Double click this wall right here and add a wall cap. And then you can go right here in the core catalog. Um, they got caps. I don't know. Just pick something here. I would say anything will work. Unclick full wall width and maybe make it um, eight by three. Click OK. And just click your white paint here, maybe paint it. And you've got your basic uh, roof. Now, the reason this isn't showing up right here is because they think that the the software thinks this is a ridge. So uh, I am going to use a shadow board and I already got one here, but I'm going to make it one by eight. And just say OK, and that will fix that. So um, quick uh, video on how to get this parapet wall here in the front. And uh, if you want parapet walls on the side, Go down to your roof plan here and just drag these inside these. 
And if you look at it, you'll have that. And it's not perfect because, well, this this roof is actually below our room floor system. So if you go in here on the second floor and you maybe make the floor like you go here to um, well, actually, it, it probably would be just easier if you did this and hit transform replicate right here. And in the Z, maybe raise it eight inches. And there you go. And uh, so anyway, I wanted to give you a quick way of doing parapet walls. And you don't want to ever drag walls unless you absolutely have to. And um, think of things in rooms and how you can control your rooms and you, you'll be better off for it in the long run. So I hope that helps. Uh, check out my YouTube page, Chief Skills on YouTube. And uh, there's lots of videos there. I've done over 100 videos. So you might find something you like. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.